What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Tonight we're making grilled yuca tortillas. Now these are going to be kind of in the middle of a panini and a quesadilla. We're going to be grilling these on our cast iron skillet. All the ingredients that you need are listed below, so let's get started. Now since we're making grilled yuca tortillas, you need yuca root. That's this. You need about a pound of it, which is this. You can find this usually in your herb section in your supermarket. Uh, if you can't find it there, then go to any kind of Latin American grocery that you can find uh, and you should, you should see it. All right, we're gonna peel this, but before you do, fill a pot with water because we're gonna boil this. Now this skin is pretty tough, so I don't know if this, this uh, peeler is gonna do the job. Oh, it will. Okay. Success. I don't know why, but I feel like I just whittled some furniture. Working hard over here making some yucca chairs. Pretty sure that was coated with wax, so you need to make sure that it doesn't get into your food. All right, now we're gonna chop this into four inch pieces. Each were very specific in the cookbook. And then we're gonna quarter each of those pieces. All right, we're gonna boil these for about 20 to 25 minutes. You want them to be pierceable. While this is boiling, go ahead and grab your other veggies. We're gonna need a small yellow bell pepper, a jalapeno, and some garlic. All right, we are going to chop this yellow bell pepper fairly small. And we're gonna seed and mince this jalapeno. And we're gonna chop this garlic coarsely. Now we can also do some variations, which we're going to do. We're gonna do some sliced black olives and sauteed corn. So we're gonna need a half a cup of each of those. Black olives, I'm just gonna slice, and the corn, I'm going to saute with the rest of these veggies. All right, let's check our yuca root. We're gonna keep this boiling for about five more minutes because it wasn't as flaky as I would like it to be. Okay, this is a lot more flaky. That's what we want. All right, we're gonna drain this and let it cool. All right, while that's cooling, we're gonna saute our veggies. So you can either use a cold cast iron skillet, which is what they asked for in the cookbook. I only have this cast iron grill, so this is kind of a pain in the ass to saute things in. I'm just gonna use a regular skillet. So we're gonna put that cold and then we're gonna add our olive oil and we're just gonna add our garlic right to it. And you wanna put this on a medium heat and we're gonna saute this, constantly stirring for about two minutes till it's very fragrant. And then we're gonna add our bell peppers and our jalapeno. And while you're at it, throw in your corn. Now again, you don't have to add the corn. If you don't like corn, just a variation. And I am gonna add these black olives right before it's pretty much done. What we wanna do is make sure this is nice and soft. The bell peppers are nice and cooked, about six to eight minutes. All right, we're pretty much done. I'm just putting these in now to heat them up a little bit since they were in the fridge. All right, we're gonna remove this from the heat and we're gonna let this cool a little bit too. So now, in the meantime, grab your yuca. We're gonna start mashing it. All right now, we can pretty much just do this with our hands, at least initially. If you feel any parts that are kind of fibrous, then just pitch them. All right, I think we got most of the bad stuff out of there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our mixture over this as well. And we're gonna stir in two teaspoons of lime juice, salt, and pinch of ground white pepper. And we're gonna mash this even more. If you need to, or just want to, you can do this with your hands. Might work a little bit better. Fun fact! Yuca is a South American tuber that is the root of the cassava plant, and it's used much like potatoes. In addition to mashing, frying, and baking, yuca root is also used to make tapioca flour, and even biofuel. All right, 
Now the fun part, we get to cook this. So we're gonna use a cast iron grill. You can either use this or a cast iron skillet or a griddle, whatever you got. I like this because I'm hoping it's gonna make some lines, which will make it pretty. So we're gonna put this on a medium and we're gonna put some oil in a little cup because we are going to brush this on our tortillas. Now this recipe says it makes four, four to six. And what we're gonna do is, well, you'll see. All right, so we are going to lightly brush this with oil on the inside. We are going to put a generous half cup, looks pretty generous, on one half of this. And we're gonna spread this along just the half all the way to the end. All right, we're gonna fold this down like so, and we're gonna lightly oil the outside too. Then we're gonna stick it on the grill. All right, we're just gonna cook this until the outsides are nice and toasted and the inside is nice and hot. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, now we're only gonna flip this once. All right, I think we're good. And repeat. All right, before we make all the other ones, I'm gonna fry this because I'm hungry. First of all, it's beautifully crispy on the outside. Mmm. It's supposed to go really well with salsa guac or sour cream. I say all of them. The filling is wonderfully creamy. I bet mushrooms would also be really good, good with this and um, maybe some spinach. This is essentially kind of a cheeseless quesadilla. I mean, it's creamy on the inside. It has that nice richness to it. I approve. It's delicious. All right, y'all, make this. That's all there is to say. It's delicious. It's a great little grilled sandwich. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to share and comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. I'm gonna get back to making the rest of these.